Hello and welcome to EQ Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. Joining us today is Mr. Jitin Rai Khanna. He is the Regional Sales Director and Mr. Nagarjan from Jollywood. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir, first of all, what is the market you are fo focusing on? Uh, you know, as you know, the global uh, PV market is, is going in the direction of uh, reaching about 250 to 300 gigawatts in the coming future. And uh, if you take India specifically, uh, you know, with the Honorable Government's uh, target of reaching 200 gigawatts as soon as possible and and we are also looking at hitting about 40 to 50 gigawatts of installations uh, you know in this year and next year so uh, jollywood being a global company we are uh, giving a special focus to indian solar market uh, as one of the early suppliers uh, being present in india so we are we would look at focusing on india specifically other than our home market of china all right yes. all right, all right. Uh, sir, what is the global or India share of the Jollywood backsheet in terms of market share? Uh, so, you know, Jollywood is the largest manufacturer of backsheet globally. So, naturally, we have the largest market share purely by virtue of our shipments. Yes. If you can even, when you take our home market of China or uh, be it India with respect to transfer in backsheet or uh, even countries like, uh, you know, America or even European markets, Jollywood has been the leader in terms of shipments with our special focus in developing new products like the double side fluorine coated you know which is a development of jollywood along with daikin in japan so with our special focus uh, with producing new and better products for the market we naturally have the uh, first place if i can put it that way in yeah, terms yeah. of the global market share yes okay sir uh, tell us something about the future projections of jollywood in terms of the manufacturing expansion capacity of the backsheet uh, so currently jollywood produces about 250 million square meters of backsheet uh, a year so which roughly translates to about 50 gigawatt per year and uh, that's our current capacity and that's a mix of you know transparent black and white back sheet based on the market uh, demand and in terms of expansion uh, uh, my colleague here uh, will tell you uh, I, you know like we've been discussing with our uh, management and we've been pushing them to yes. uh, you know expand capacity because uh, you know we need more and more capacity to cater to the growing market especially in India as you know You've seen in the expo also yes, everybody yes. is announcing uh, more or less doubling of capacity yeah, yeah. so we are looking at expanding with about uh, we're looking at doubling our capacity over the next five years gradually okay. so I, you can expect about a 20 percent increase in our capacity year on year for the next five all years right, right. yes so there, your thoughts? there is a roadmap that we may even set up a line here in this country as well because the capacity is almost now 20 gigawatt currently and growing year on year so jollywood is quite focused and there are plans that maybe by the next year they will bring one line or maybe two lines in the country so that will depend on the market forces right. but yes being the tier one manufacturer in the back sheet business uh, the focus is very much there for the indian market and serving the customers here for sure all right all right good to know sir now i would like to know about your latest product which you are going to launch and and when you're gonna launch it so so the next product is coming probably another uh, fortnight uh, we are coming with a pet based back sheet which is transparent fluoride uh, without fluorine in it and that would be a game changer for sure in the market um, I think so by probably middle of next month yeah. is when we are launching so that is something which which is coming uh, for, for the market in India all right, all right sir uh, sir how is the latest backsheet of Jollywood copying uh, up with the higher uh, wattage panels of saying about 500 uh, WP or about 600 WP so uh, you know Jollywood has always been at the forefront of the industry with respect to complementing uh, R&D teams of the module uh, from the module side. So, you know, if you take our uh, shipments from about 2008, we've always had top of the line products to complement uh, module companies who are developing higher and higher, who are chasing higher and higher wattage of panels. So, as you know, in India, at least till a couple of years ago, 320, 330 was the market standard. And now we're, we're, we're chasing 600 and approaching towards 700. So, with our current suite of products, we are already at a stage where we can cater to 500, 600 watt panels without any without any change in recipe or anything of that sort. Our current products itself are capable of supporting uh, uh, panels that are up to 600 watt. And of course, you know, R&D is, is a constant process. We are, our teams are in touch with the, you know, the cell developers to see what what extent they are chasing uh, wattage so that we can also be prepared as and when they launch we will already be available yes, with the yes, yes. product ready in the okay market. okay yeah. and in the last sir i would like to ask how is the changing policy in india such as bcd lm bis certification influencing the solar business in india so you know this is the most you know no no absolutely questions. absolutely no uh, i i feel like you know policies like almm and uh, uh, introduction of bcd to, uh, to raw materials is a very important step 
in in our government's efforts to supporting local manufacturing and you know with with uh, make in india and atmanirbhar bharat being the theme around manufacturing in general so it's it's only logical for us to expect that solar companies based out of india get that kind of support from the government which we are very appreciative of because with these policies we expect that uh, you know module companies in india will have the sort of clarity in in uh, policy and clarity in vision to sort of expand their capacity right. and that is good news for us because being a component supplier with with module companies expanding their capacity our uh, contribution to the to the market also will will be on the increase right. but on a on a meta scale uh, with the with the way the with the way the global uh, policies are being shaped with respect to inter inter country relationships we believe that modules out of india will have very good demand in the european and us markets going ahead which we are already seeing in the market now with with increased shipments of indian companies to the us right. so with that in mind i i feel like india is very like is positioned at the right stage to have like a breakout growth in terms of module companies uh, expansion and shipments and naturally we would like to be a major part of um, you know backsheet supply in india as a result of that so your thoughts on it so see the government is very proactive the policies are very much favorable for the manufacturing ecosystem in our country so like my colleague very rightly said we are in a very sweet spot now especially the tier 1 makers putting up so much money so the market is opening up the global market is now a place where the indians will be very the indian market will be very very well positioned so yes i think so it's very dynamic place to be now currently all right all right sir so with this we wish you all the best for your future endeavors thank and you. thank you so much for joining us mr jitendra and mr nagarjan it was really very nice week with pleasure, you pleasure. thank you so much thank, thank you, you